Hey YouTube, it's Alicia Barton and I am resting at the moment from cleaning, but um I have a lot to do. Excuse me. But I wanted to come to y'all and I might be keep doing these videos and stuff and I hope everybody who understand why I do I'm gonna keep doing these videos these type of videos I'm gonna keep doing these videos until we get Joni Lawler aka China into the WWE Hall of Fame for 2018 uh, um, but before I want to address um, Beth Phoenix Beth Phoenix I actually did um, as y'all know, I was kind of pissed and mad that Beth Phoenix was being inducted into the Hall of Fame and not Joni. I still stand by that, but I will give Beth Phoenix props for one thing. I actually went and purchased the WrestleMania tape and I watched Beth Phoenix acceptance speech. And in that acceptance speech, she acknowledges excuse me y'all <clears throat> she acknowledges Joni Lawler and for that I can appreciate Beth Phoenix for that cause I know she probably said oh let me address um, let me say something about uh, Joni Lawler because if it wasn't for her May, um, if it wasn't for Fabulous Moolah May Young Sensational Sherry excuse me y'all Sensational Sherry and Joni Lawler it wouldn't be about Phoenix. And I don't I wanna know what is the deal behind that and stuff. Excuse me, y'all. And um I just feel that's um what I feel on that situation. But I just feel is we if we are China fans, like we say you are, I grew up to China, I remember certain things about her and um, I actually just thought she, um, she could have, one day, could have returned, could have returned and had another stint as a women's champion. But, um, that would never happen. But, yeah, but when I come, when I think about a lot of things that's going on today in that Divas division, we're missing an element in that Divas division. And that's a, um, somebody who comes to compare as Joni Lollett to date. Now, Beth Phoenix, when it was her to compare to pair her, yeah, she was just like um, Joni Lollett. Excuse me. Just like Joni Lollett. But when it comes to now and in the current Divas Lot roster, I could say it's only about two divas that can compare to Joni's lawless strength strength and abilities and I'm going to say that's going to be Charlotte, um, well it's not three it's about, um, it's not two, it's about three, um, the first one who comes compare to um, come to compare to Joni Lawler, even though she has her own unique style, it will be Charlotte Flair yes, I'm saying it she, um, has a has the strength like her she has the ability i have no doubt and she's going to be doing her first movie um and stuff and so yeah i feel like she is is right up there now right next to her i say it um will be um Tamina Snooker. Tamina Snooker, she is strong like Joni Lawler. She, even though she has that unique style and she's a le a legacy, whoa, she has that Joni Lawler. So that go your two for SmackDown. But the only person I can think for for Raw, and if and the only thing is if um they just give her that big push i keep alliterating i want to see more of her more of her getting opportunities and everything dana brooks yes i am support i will support dana brooks because to me dana brooks is i don't say she's a physical i don't say she is Joni Lawler. She has certain attributes of her. She shows off her muscles. Joni was known for that. It's also 
Joni was very strong of lifting somebody in the air and then dropping them and then walk over them. But I am going to say this. Excuse me, y'all. And I just want to... I, we just need to let it be known. We want to see Joni Lawler into the Hall of Fame. And so I'm just going to tell y'all, I might do this once a month, once a week, where we can get our get what we want as Joni Lawler, as, jo, as China fans. We need to see her in the 2018 Hall of Fame, and she needs to be the first recipient. And if I could say anybody to abduct uh, her, I would say Brett the Hitman Hart and stuff. But if I could say anybody, I feel like the uh, if anybody else can adopt her, I say the whole roster of the whole women's division of Raw and SmackDown coming together, and even the girls dress, um, dressing like her in wrestling gear inspired by her wrestling gear. That would be phenomenal. But I want to address the elephant in the room, and I'm going to tell y'all this, and this is my theory. I feel Stephanie McMahon might have something to do with, might have something to do with why Joni Lawler didn't come back to the Hall of, to the WWE. I feel like Joni Law. I feel like she has a um, she has a hold and saying, oh, she's not going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I feel like that is the reason. But I feel like Vince McMahon also has a hold because she went and did porn. Babies. Um, that shouldn't, and I don't know, I hope some of y'all will agree with me on this. I feel we need to let it be known every month. We need to do this, and I'm challenging everybody who watch WWE or watch TNA or watch wrestling in general. I don't care what kind of wrestling you watch. Let's let it be known to the WWE and let and tell them. And, we'll, and this video will be telling them, hey, we want to see Joni Lawler in the Hall of Fame. Put your, put your feelings to the side. And that's that. That's what we need to let it be known. We want Joni Lawler in the Hall of Fame. We, and so, um, so now... I am asking y'all to sign off and go every week. Go on WWE.com and let them know. Joni Lawler, 2018 Hall of Fame, first recipient. Put that in there all from starting today until, until March of next year. And let's see if we get Joni Lala adducted into the Hall of Fame. Let's bug. Let's bug the mess out of Stephanie's head. Stephanie McMahon's head. Triple H head. And Vince McMahon's head. For we can get Joni Lala adducted into the Hall of Fame. Until then, y'all. I'm Alicia Burton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Comment below. And subscribe to my channel. Bye.